Hey, you know, this past Sunday, we listened to the apostles, Peter and James, tell us that there would be times in our lives as disciples where we would need to reboot our humility. Well, not exactly their terms. Their terms sounded more like humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God. Because God gives grace to the humble, but he opposes the proud. You know, our 21-day prayer and fasting reboot is all about humbling ourselves. That's what prayer and fasting does. You know, in prayer, we're acknowledging that we are limited creatures who need their creator. We are posturing our hearts to not be self-reliant, self-sufficient, and self-confident. No, that, that's more like a pride posture. In fasting, we are dialing back the natural features of our human lives and replacing them with supernatural ones. We're coming into agreement with God with what God said in Deuteronomy 8, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You see, a, a pride posture is this overstuffed, busy, grasping, must-have, must-do existence that's the product of self-provision. It's us striving with all our might to make our lives work, to make our souls happy, to fix our broken world. But when we humble ourselves, we're acknowledging our limitations and we're freshly declaring our trust in God, our great and mighty God who is sovereign over everything about us. So that's what we're embracing in these next 21 days that start tomorrow. All right, so today's resources that are always in the links that are provided below are about giving us some practical planning tools to make the best of these 21 days. They'll help you think about areas in your life to focus on and some practical things to do to, to create some special times with the Lord in the coming days. Have a look, make some plans. Tomorrow we get started. We'll kick things off with a live stream at noon. It'll be on our Facebook page, our, our YouTube channel, and our website page. Join us then as we get started on this great adventure together.